Okay, I think it's uh, twelve thirty on my screen. We shall start. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, all. Thank you uh, for joining this webinar today. My name is Mei Ling, the branch manager for Boon Keng a member investor center. So today we are going to share more information. We are going to go through this charting or technical analysis and look at why it's a better time for us to enter the market. So uh, more suggestions, we'll talk about different type chart, the analysis, and then look at some of the important indicator. So I just want to set some rule. Uh, so I understand that all of you might have a lot of questions to ask. Yeah. So I will only go through Q&A at the end of the seminar. You can just write down and then we can go through together. Yeah. Meanwhile, of course, if I'm too fast or too slow or too loud, too soft, uh, you can actually write down at a chart so that I can adjust accordingly. So let us start. Uh, we'll start with a simple introduction to Philip Securities. I know all of you might know that um, I know us as a stockbroker, stock stockbroking house. We actually have a lot of other services. Uh, we have a wide range of financial services. We are even providing B two B financial service to other institutions like you know the unit trust that you bought through your independent advisor. We could be the provider as well. So. Uh, the shareholders, uh, it's, it's already above 1.5 billion, so it's quite a big company, MMC, in a sense of our presence. So we have global presence, we have offices uh, you know, globally, but then what does it mean to you? Why is it important? It means that if you open one Philips Securities trading account, you will have access to this market. It is very important for you because there are a lot of companies, although known to you in Singapore, but will not be tradable in Singapore markets, such as your oil shell, you know, you shell in Singapore, but you cannot buy uh, the shell company, you have to go to other markets. So you have access to this global market or under one single trading account, one login. So very convenient for you. Um, and uh, we also the largest uh, stock uh, booking house for retail investors, largest CRD provider, and uh, largest number of uh, investor centers in Singapore. Yeah. In terms of investor centers, these are our investor centers. So it is um, a neighborhood, so it's easy for you to visit, so you have any inquiries or you have, uh, you know, you wish to open trading accounts. However, do take note that we are closed during the um, circuit breaker period. We'll be reopening on 2nd June. Do visit our website to find out more at forums.com.sg. Yeah. So these are the wide range of products that we provide. Uh, we do have unit trust. You purchase unit trust through us is basically free of charge. Uh, we have managed account and other types of services. And of course, since all of you are here joining us at webinar, you know that we have quite a lot of quality webinars. Some of the webinars are quite quality. Those that when you sign up outside, they charge you two full days for like 5,000, 6,000. So those, um, those webinars, I understand that uh, you go through step by step for the whole day, but they are learning the basic as well. They are learning those basic fundamental and technical analysis, which we actually you can learn through PIC or poems, and most of webinars are free of charge. And just want to shout out this ongoing promo. If you have bought any unit trust with any local bank or any way, um, you can transfer to us. You can either do it online or visit Investor Center. Uh, we basically pay you for transferring in $20 for 10000 transfer in. Okay. Um, some introduction about myself. I've been feeling for many years, I think eight, nine years. This was updated about one of years ago. And I write for the Business Times also. So, what I believe in is the compound, the power of compound interest. So uh, if I'm interested, you can join some of our seminar through the PIC website, which is the poem website. For my face-to-face -face seminar, I have a session there. I will talk to all the attendees as well, but I'll remove this session because uh, we are on webinar. And uh, today's attendees, we have 300 over sign up for this webinar. And as of now, I already had 155 attendees. 
Yeah, so I will not answer all the questions like I said just now. We will only talk about Q&A at the end of the session. But if I'm too fast or too slow, uh, please write now in the chat. So let's start with our technical analysis. Just a usual disclaimer. What I share today is just for you know, information purposes. Uh, does not constitute any buy call or sell call. Buy call and sell call, you need to go to our website, uh, Stocks BNB, to find out more. Later, I will share on you know how to uh, you know, obtain more information on the market. Okay. So this is the content today. We are basically uh, focusing on the technical analysis part uh, of the analysis. Can I pen? Sorry, okay, problem. Let's see, I can pen. Okay, so when you analyze a company or you do your investment, you have to do both, not just technical analysis. You have to do your fundamental analysis as well. You want to invest in a company that has future. So sometimes it's quite logical. We know that you know the whole world moved towards e-commerce, and then with COVID nineteen, more and more people are using online services. They are advertising online. You know, people are too scared to walk on the street. So you do your logical analysis, and then you look at your fundamental analysis, which means you look at the company's P and L, the company's performance, the company's revenue. So these are fundamental analysis. You have to do your homework. If you do not want to read through all the annual reports and everything, at least you read research report. At least you understand what you are getting into. Yeah. So after you have done your fundamental analysis, selected the stocks that in your portfolio you are interested to attend and to, to buy in or to obtain or to short. Uh, then next you use technical analysis to assist you uh, on the timing, you know, uh, the, the time to, to enter the market. Okay. So in terms of technical analysis, if you read you know, the tick tick technical analysis book, there are some principles. It means, uh, some of the principles is, which means we assume this is correct. We assume that all information is reflected in the price. The belief, the principle of uh, technical analysis. And a price actually moves in trends and history will repeat itself. So what technical analysis and indicators, what they did was they, they used past history to do calculation and then show you what possibility of happening uh, you know, uh, for the next, in the future. So it's actually based on history to calculate the future. So for start, we need to look at the type of charts. You know, in order to understand, understand technical analysis, we have to know how to read charts. They are fundamentally a few type of chart. You have your line chart, your line chart. You can obtain your line chart from our website, which is the points platform. Yeah. So to choose the type chart, uh, you can actually choose in a chart sessions and a chart tab. Yeah. And then the, the other type will be bar chart. Bar chart will tell you more information because uh, the line chart, they only tell you the closing prices. For bar chart, they will tell you the opening price today, closing price today, what is the highest today, and the lowest today. So more information provided uh, in the bar chart. But of course, what we like the most is your candlestick. So we focus more on candlestick. Uh, what is it candlestick? Candlestick actually provide much more information without going through or sitting in front of the computer for the whole day to look at you know how price go up and down, what time started, you know early morning what was the you know price opening price okay. you can just look at the candlestick it tells you all the information so the candlestick it tells you the opening price the closing price the low and the high of the day so within itself it tells you the information and of course the low and the high and the open and close might be different based on the color of candlestick so uh, basically, there are two types. Usually, you have your your candlestick green, which means the market open lower, close higher. So it's green candlestick. Buyer coming to buy up. Then uh, your bearish candlestick, which is your red candlestick, means you open at very high price, but then seller coming and puts a price down, so you close at a lower price. These two type of candlesticks. So. After looking through the basic type of candlestick, uh, this, this is how you obtain candlestick. By default, if you log into our chart, 
inside the platform, it will be in a form of candlestick. Okay, so I'm going to share with you a few common types of candlesticks that I look at it and my colleagues look at it quite regularly. There are a lot more other types of candlesticks out there. Uh, you can Google, but you can't memorize everything. I know I have you know, my dealing table, I have you know, so different types of candlesticks. You can have 150 to 100 on them. But just remember a few more important, more regular, more basic, because not just you, the whole world are looking at the same candlestick, particularly for US stock, the whole world are looking at it. So, you know, the more people look at it, the more people act accordingly. So it's the, the law of, uh, the, the, the common law in a sense. So these two types of candlestick, right, will be uh, maru bozu and spinning top. Uh, simply, it means a full candlestick. What does full candlestick mean? It means a lot. Full, it can tell you a lot. For example, for a white candlestick or green candlestick, full, it means that immediately upon market open, buyers come in. You haven't heard any news yet, but suddenly why buyers come in and buy up everything. And then close today at the highest price. So a full candlestick means that market is very bullish. Probably people out there know some info they are not known to us. So uh, that's why a full green candlestick means that the market is very bullish. It can be also a bullish signal for the market. And if it is a red candlestick, it means market is very bad. It also means that uh, after you open the market at a high price, sellers come in, sell all the stocks. Usually selling is not done within the same day because you know, people are undecisive, they can sell again tomorrow. So, uh, and then all the seller come in, push the price down uh, to close at the lowest of the day. So a full red candlestick means that the market is very bearish. Of course, then for spinning top and bottom, it means that the market is undecisive. You know, it heat up, then come down again, and then uh, it open at certain price, uh, drop to very low, and it went up, and it closed at about the same price as the opening price. So these are undecisive candlesticks. Uh, these two, they are another type of candlesticks called reversal patterns. I would like to share with you because reversal patterns are quite important and in fact, not that difficult to spot. Okay, so uh, the more common type will be your hammer, hanging man type of reversal pattern. Uh, if you look at the color, it's actually quite easy to identify. You suddenly have a lot of red candles, and then uh, suddenly you come with a, a hammer, green color hammer, that could signal an end uh, to a downtrend. Now, of course, uh, for the hanging man, it means that you have a lot of green candle, suddenly you have a red candle. Uh, that's in the form of hanging man, or it can be shooting star. Okay. It means the market is uh, bearish. So uh, these are reversal patterns and you can look at it. It's the same for invested hammer and a shooting star. They actually signal the pattern is going to reverse. Those are particularly very important for day traders uh, because in our chart, right, you can, it's not just daily candle, you can also look at hourly candle, you can look at, um, you know, five minutes candle. So if you trade Forex, this information will be very important to you uh, because candles will predict what's your next move, movement. Okay. Then I just wish to share these two important bullish and bearish and cuffing signal. Why are they so important? Okay, I've been with Philip Securities for many years. Uh, and then of course throughout the years, I uh, meet a lot of investors and we attended a lot of trainings. We have you know talked to young colleagues, you know, people in the same industry uh, as well. From personal experience, I found that bullish and coughing and bearish and coughing signal are more effective, which means it works better for me uh, compared to other type of uh, candlesticks. So uh, when I decided to enter the market, I'll wait for a bullish and coughing signal to form first. This is one example. So how to identify? Okay. So at the end of downtrend, how do you identify bullish and coughing? Because I need to wait, so usually you don't catch the bottom. You wait for the bottom to bottom out, because it's very risky to catch at the bottom. We don't catch falling knife. It's going to be very painful. 
So wait for the market to bottom up. It's okay. Let people catch the bottom. We can't catch the bottom. We can't get the best price of all, but we get slightly better price. Okay. So in order to wait for the market to bottom out, you wait for how to identify it. You have a red candle because when the market is dropping, usually you have a lot of red candle. And then suddenly a green candle, full candle, very full candle appear just right to your red candle. And then the green candle or the white candle is, is full. Has a closing price of higher than yesterday's closing price. So let me see what I can have. Okay, so over here um, on the screen, you okay, um, on the screen, there's this um, bullish engulfing. So quite quite clear, it says that you know I have a green candle, white candle appear uh, next to a red candle, the end of the pattern, and then your white candle has a closing price or higher than yesterday's closing price. I think it's a bullish engulfing. The same for your bearers and graphing. For bearers and graphing, you have market moving up, 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 or the green candle, but suddenly you have one red candle, and then the market close at a lower price than yesterday. Uh, it means it's time to either you take profit, or you sell, or you... Uh, it's basically a signal that market might be first. Yeah. So these are some... A common patterns for candlesticks and then our uh, Buddhist and Duffing is one that I like the most and then uh, you can look at it as well. Uh, I have some questions here. We will not go through because uh, we are on webinar and I think the system auto-muted all of you. Uh, the, the quiz over here. Okay, let us just uh, refresh our mind. <laughs> Which point be referring to opening price? Probably think for a few seconds. Opening price for green candle. Yeah, it's not a lot of answer. Oh, a lot of answer. Yeah, they check, they check. You're right. <laughs> All of you are right. Uh, oh, there's some D. So it's C. Uh, what is it? C. C is the opening price. B is the closing price. D is the lowest of the today. And A is the highest today. So it tells a lot. Can I still tell us a lot? If you do not need to sit in front of the computer, you just look at the candlestick, kind of you know what happened yesterday. We tell stories and come to the support. Okay, so you have gone through the basic type of candlestick. So, uh, you know, we, we look at some of the support resistance, some of the lines, you know, how to draw your own lines. Yeah, and uh, for start, let's look at the support. Support basically uh, allows you to, to look at the, the point that you have a lot of willing buyers, which means the price once you come to support, right? All your buyers will, all your buyers will come in. Yeah. So at this support point, how to draw it? You just connect two lower points together. You will be able to draw your support. And then the same for resistance. You draw two top line together. You will be able to draw your resistance. So you have your support and you have your resistance. You can draw by yourself. And this is commonly practiced by all the analysts and dealers and traders out there. We draw lines regularly. And surprise to you, the market really move according to those lines. But there are terms that lines could be um, broken as well. If your support is broken, this support is going to turn into resistance. So when we have a support broken, like your SGI, straight time index, uh, broke support, and again, last few months, then those support, right, you can actually draw and it becomes a resistance. Once you hit the resistance level, sellers say, okay, time to take profit. You will have a lot of seller coming and they are willing to take profit. So resistance is for the seller to come in and then support is, a, is the point the buyer are willing to buy up. Yeah. And of course, your resistance, once it's broken, it turns into support. There are people who trade based on uh, the breakup. Breakout means, oh, my resistance is broken. It's time for me to enter, like your Facebook. Facebook has hit a uh, record high again. So, uh, resistance broken is signals that market is going to move higher. So, they are people who trade on breakout. Uh, but the risk is higher because breakout might be not successful. You're buying a share, you're investing a share at a higher price. So, I prefer to buy good share, good stocks, good fundamental stocks when it drop. You retrace, it drop uh, to the support level. And then, uh, because market is not always flat, so if market is in the uptrend, you 
combine two dots together, two lower points of uptrend together, you can draw your support, your uptrend line support. So this is how your uptrend line support looks like. If it's in a downtrend, you can draw your downtrend line support as well. So you can have, um, you can use our charting tools uh, in points platform, or you can use other platforms. There are a lot of free charting tools out there. Later, I uh, hope I can share some with you. So most of them are free of charge. So you, you can actually draw your support line, uh, your resistance line. So for resistance, you combine the two higher points together, you'll be able to, point, to form a downtrend line. I'm looking at daily chart. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll look at a question later. Let's just finish all the slides. So now let's look at our uh, channel. You have your support with your resistance. Ah, with this two line, you can build up magic box. Some speaker, they call it magic box. Why is that so? Because surprisingly, price just move within the box. It can be uptrend uh, channel, ascending channel, magic box. It can be downtrend. It can be, you know, uh, sideline. So price just move, you know, you can look at the past history. Usually price move within the channel until it is broken. And then if it's broken, for example, it's a downtrend and then uh, your, your resistance is broken. What do you do next? Yeah, you actually copy para parallel line, which means your downtrend line, uh, equal distance, you draw another line. So they will be the next resistance. Like Facebook hitting record high again, your Alibaba, I know the, you know, the trade war issue, Alibaba and drop, but today hitting record high, and then your Amazon hitting record high, uh, you can actually use channel uh, to draw one more line so that you will be able to find uh, the next resistance level for you to get profit. So these are the common types of trends. We just go through this topic because they are double top, uh, different type of channels, trend, and some common pattern as well. Yeah. So next, I'm going to share with you about technical indicators. So uh, uh, you can read from the screen. Indicators are basically data points. They use mathematics, some formula to calculate. The purpose of these indicators is actually to predict the price movement. You know, would it be higher price, lower price? So there are two types of indicator in classification. You have leading and lagging indicators. We are going to go through a few of them that I use quite regularly. Um, if we are talking about indicators, they are a lot, a lot out there. We will not go through all of them because they are simply a lot. Don't confuse yourself. I think for a retail investor, two, three, four, uh, should be actually quite enough for us. We can't possibly, uh, we have Bloomberg terminals, by the way, in our poems, a lot of Bloomberg terminals and research everywhere. Okay, they are indicators that contradict each other. <laughs> so one say buy, the other one say sell. So you just use a few common type indicators that people out there are using. Because this is a market, the market of people, market full of people, for investors out there. So if everybody is reading the same signal, then this signal will become effective. Yeah, this is my, my, my thinking. So I'm just going to share a few uh, indicators. The most common one being RSI. If you read newspaper on a regular basis, probably RSI is not something new to you, you have heard before, because it's the most common type. That the analysts, technical indicator, technical analysts, they will, they will talk about. Before they talk about others, they have to talk about RSI. So the whole world is using it, RSI. We are not going to look at the mathematic formula. We just need to learn how to read this RSI and how to use it, apply it uh, in our points platform. But generally, it stands for Relative Strength Index. It tells us two info. Uh, one is the overbought, the other one is oversold. And of course, you want to buy a stock when it is oversold and you want to buy when a stock is overbought. You basically want to buy cheap and sell a uh, higher price uh, for, for investors. So this is a momentum type of indicators. And how to read over here. Uh, this is the RSI chart in our in our uh, points platform. So under the chart tab in the points platform, points platform, you can add in your RSI. 
So after you add in your RSI, right, uh, let's look at straight time index. The chart in front of you is straight time index. Okay, let's look at straight time index. Okay. RSI gives you some signal. Let's assume, uh, example, we really trust RSI two years ago. When RSI asked me to buy, I buy. Asked me to sell, I sell. So over here, you can see that uh, these are uh, entry point for RSI is over here. Uh, on the first, uh, I'm not sure you can see my, my cursor here. And then uh, some of the entry point, mm, usually RSI caught the, bot the market at bottom. Caught the market at uh, throw. You have peak and you have throw, right? So RSI looks like you actually catch the market low. So if you follow RSI, at least you are able to enter the market at some lower point. Yeah. But do take note that. Uh, there's some risk to RSI as well because if we were to enter in early January, there is a signal by RSI, weak signal, RSI signal you to enter the market. If you enter at a period, right, uh, and there's no sell signal, yeah, and then you, you get caught. Yeah. So that's why uh, look at other indicators as well, a few indicators, and look at the channel, look at candlesticks uh, to assist you with your analysis. So over here, if you enter on March 22nd, of course, you have caught the bottom. But remember, our job is not to catch the bottom. We are not catching the falling line. We enter when there is an engulfing signal. So there's actually an engulfing signal over here uh, on 23rd March. Yeah, easier said than done. But let's look at the signal now. Uh, we Based on RSI, the signal is not a buy call. There's no sell call. So RSI is less sensitive. Let's look at another signal that give us more information and they are more sensitive so that you can trade more instead of just looking at a chart, you know, uh, waiting, waiting for buy signal. So the next indicator I'm going to share with you is this, uh, stochastic. I use stochastic very regularly, so it's my colleague. And we found it sort of quite effective. Yeah. Uh, but this, th this will be my personal uh, opinion. Uh, because there are a lot, in the, a lot of many other indicators out there and you have to trade with okay? K and you have to control your emotions also when it comes to trading. So talking about stochastic uh, indicators, similar to RSI, it tells us two info, overbought and oversold. So you want to enter when price is oversold and you want to sell the market, you want to sell when the price is overbought. So if you look at our screen here, this is the mathematics formula on how to calculate the RSI. The good news is there's no need for us to calculate. So system, uh, the system will auto-calculate for you. Points platform have this stochastic uh, oscillator, they calculate for you. And then um, you have two lines, if you compare to RSI, uh, two lines, one is faster line, the other one is a slower line. So how to read the signal? Of course, most important, how to read the signal. Okay. It's not just, you know, immediately the two lines hit above uh, below 20, you, you immediately buy the market. Okay, to read the signal, it has this principle that is quite similar to a uh, moving average. It means two lines must cross your faster line, your red line, cross your blue line, which means your faster line, cross your slower line, and they must both pointing upwards. So point up, both point up. So there's a signal to read. Two of them cross, below 20% point upwards. So based on this, right, this chart in front of you, we have one opportunity, there's one signal over here, below 20% at the beginning of the chart. Yeah. And you will buy. And the sell signal will be, will be the same, two line cross above 80% and pointing downwards. You want to wait for them to point downward to be safe. Because there are cases that they just stay above the line, above oversold region, uh, or above overbought region. For example, your, your Google always stay above overbought region, your Google alphabet. So you want to wait for two of them to cross and really point downward this is the time they, uh, they've got a sell signal. Yeah. So this is your stochastic oscillator. And this is how it looks like uh, in points platform. I'll demo and show you how to, you know, obtain the chart later. But for now, uh, let's look at it. your stochastic oscillator. Give you more opportunities to trade, more opportunities 
to take the profit. So let's say, assume two years ago, you do exactly the same, you trade straight time index, uh, you just you know, buy and sell based on signal given in a stochastic oscillator, yeah, you might have entered at most of the throw and then uh, sold at most of the peak. Yeah. Because you are waiting for two lines to cross and then point downwards. So you are selling not at a peak, but immediately, about immediately after the peak. Yeah. So these are some examples. But how about recently? This is I mean together. Uh, this is straight time index, uh, STIDF. Okay. Recently, Stochastic actually gave a sell signal over here on the uh, before March. There's a sell signal, strong sell signal. Uh, then subsequently, the actual buy signal only come in on the end of uh, March because we need to wait for the two line to cross and point about. Remember, point about. We will always miss the bottom. It's alright. Uh, you might be better in catching the bottom, but I think there's a quite very risky strategy. The strategy should be waiting. I mean, my opinion, the strategy should be waiting for the market to bottom up and then start enter on the market enter the bull. So based on stochastic, hmm, quite effective because we are waiting for two lines to point up. Um, yep, we might miss the bottom, but we'll enter quite immediately uh, after the bottom, after market bottom up. So based on a not very strong signal that we have uh, as of today, this morning, it looks like if today market were to close higher, it will give a good signal for us to enter the market based on stochastic. But well, uh, just you know, in some fundamental straight hand index is one of the, I would say cheapest, not cheapest but cheaper, uh, in terms of valuations. If you compare to the market in the US, the Nasdaq, the Dow Jones, they are trading about three, three, with recent drop about three to three point five PE ratio. While Singapore, uh, sorry, three to three point five PB price to book, which means you sell all the company in the indexes. This is your book value. While Singapore is trading at below one, uh, below one point zero PB. PB means price over book, so it means that the market is very cheap. That is also the reason that you see a lot of privatizations. Market is valuing my company at such a low price as well. Privatize. So you are going to see more privatization in Singapore uh, because simply the market did not value the company uh, accordingly. So the price, you know, they are selling at a stock market. Stock market price compared to the actual value of the company, this discrepancy, which means the valuations of Singapore stocks are, are cheap compared to other countries. And then for Australia time index, you are getting about three, based on current price, about three to four percent uh, dividend per year. Okay. Uh, last one, I would like to share with you about moving average because uh, it's a simple moving average, but there are a lot of ways to read. So I would like to share with you and how do you obtain. So I think this is something not new to many of us because moving average was what we heard on a regular basis. There are two types. One is the simple moving average. The other one is exponential moving average. I prefer to use simple moving average. But my colleague prefer exponential uh, moving average. Exponential moving average will give you more weight for a recent period, which means uh, by right, it should give you a faster signal. Yeah. And these are the common the use type of moving average, the average daily, you know, past 20 days, the average price is 20 is this point. So these are moving average. And then how to read moving average? Let's look at some examples here. Uh, moving average will always appear even if you are very you are very advanced type of technical analysis. You will you will also appear because uh, there are many ways to look at it and then uh, it's commonly used worldwide. Therefore, uh, it has become, in a sense, effective because of the commonly recognized type of signal. Yeah. So based on moving average, uh, we might have less signal to trade the market if you compare to stochastic. Okay. Uh, what does it mean over here? Uh, this is your moving average. Okay. Through our website, uh, this is where you get your indicators at the left top. This is where you get your indicators. 
And then once you add in moving average, by default, they will give you 20 days, 50 days, and then uh, 200 days. Okay. Uh, so how to read it? To read moving average is to read how they cross the faster line. Usually, 20 days is considered a faster line compared to 50 days because your 50 days will move slower. Your 200 days will also move slower. So the volatility of your 20 lines by red should be higher. So the faster line, which is your 20 days moving average, if it crosses your 50 day moving average from above, there's a sell signal. If it crosses from below the line, uh, crossover, penetrate the line, then there will be a buy signal. So based on this example, the two line crosses, right, is actually in about January uh, 2019, the two line crosses. Uh, this is actually a strong buy signal. Uh, we, we always have this add in on top of closing part. We always need to add one more signal. I think uh, quite a useful signal is to ensure your both lines are pointing uh, towards your direction, which means for those that cross up, right, both lines must point upwards. So the signal on the um, January 2019, you see that the two line cross uh, in the 20 days, cross of 50 days moving average from both pointing up. Uh, there will be a buy signal. Do take note that this is a lagging indicator. Usually, the signals will come a few days later. So, of course, if you compare it immediately through the chart, uh, compare it to stochastic moving average, the signals for moving average is quite lagging. Eh? It only appears about uh, five, 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 ten days later. Yep. So, this is how you look at it. The moving average usually are more for longer term investors. So longer term investors, they use moving average because anyway, I'm, I'm keeping the stocks for longer term. As long as my 20 days moving average stay above 200 moving, 200 days moving average, I'm okay to hold the stocks. So uh, do take note that last two years slightly different. Unlike 2019, 2016, 2017, or 2018, 2019, like your trade wars, they have never happened before. It happened before, but not that long left. I mean, in, in US history, they will affect the whole world. So market has been considered volatile. In, uh, same for us, uh, Singapore market. And then uh, based on this uh, moving average you know, over here, yeah, it has a buy signal on early February or in uh, January. And then a sell signal, but not strong because after you sell, you enter again uh, immediately in April 2019. And then you have a sell signal in May, May 2019. So a little bit late. If you look at the signal, the signal is quite lagging. It actually comes about you know, a few days after market top. And then the same for uh, the race. But just look at the most recent one. If you follow moving average signal, you might have escaped the fall. So those who are following strictly moving average following the signal, right? You see the moving average is actually giving a very, is giving a very strong signal uh, in early March, in, in late, late February. The signal, sell, very strong sell signal for moving average. So if you take action, you sell your portfolio, probably you might have uh, uh, escaped the fall. Uh, but generally, this is just you know signal for your consideration. There are a lot of other factors that you need to look at, you know, monitor the news, CNBC, you can download the apps, uh, basically for your charge. So you get to understand the market more. Yeah, and then as of now, any buy signal yet? Okay, um, we, we see a, a soft crossover of the moving average in the early June, this year, early June, but the crossover is not, uh, it's not strong. Yeah, because we, we didn't see the two line pointing upwards. So far, we would say that uh, there's no strong signal from our moving average yet. Uh, this is what we can say. Okay. Yeah. So, probably can monitor further. If a moving average is closing upwards, faster line cross or slower line, moving upwards, then there will be a stronger signal to enter the market. I'm using straight time index. So, do take out usually straight time index will move slightly slower due to the volume. Although, is record high volume for us and uh, for the market. But if you are to compare to US and Hong Kong, probably uh, the volume is actually lower for Singapore. So this is uh, your moving average. 
we have gone, gone through the type of chart, common candlestick, common trends, and our uh, three leading and lagging indicators. I would just uh, just would like to share an article that I wrote last week. So I actually made a buy call for uh, Alibaba on a business time, but do take note that there are some disclaimer. I did mention that uh, you need to monitor the trade war. So the current situation is slightly different if I compare a few years ago because uh, some decisions, your political decision might uh, might have a certain effect on the price of stock. Certain news, once it's up, you see the price can actually drop 10%. So that's why uh, you need to get yourself updated also and do monitor the news. This one was uh, published, I think, last, last Monday or two weeks ago. Then how about, um, where do you get more of, you know, technical buy call, some signal? Okay, you can visit this website, stocksbme.com. We have a technical analysis specialized in, uh, you know, looking at signal for you. So there are cases that we actually have buy call. So if we have a buy call, do take note that we are the largest stock booking firm in Singapore. Not for local market. Uh, okay, for local market, you don't have a lot of, I mean, you don't have global traders, probably just Singapore traders. So uh, when analysts signal, give a signal, it, I mean, in my opinion, it does have an impact. So you can actually visit this website on a regular basis. We do have our buy calls, our signal calls, and then uh, so there's no need. And of course, you can you can you know verify again, you know, uh, this signal correct, you know, based on your opinion, is it correct? Because eventually it's your own decisions on what share or stock to buy. Yeah. And then we are going to go through demo uh, to understand on how you obtain chart for the uh, points platform yeah and before that okay i just want to look at some q and a in case uh, some of you are not able to answer okay okay i have uh, questions from the chat group asking about what is the setting for rsi and stochastic is the default setting I'm using the default uh, poem setting. So there's a default setting for you, which we can actually go into the chart. So this is how your platform look like after you have uh, uh, logged into the platform. I think very familiar with many of you, uh, for many of you. So for straight line index, I like to come here because uh, here I can monitor uh, all the indexes around the world and how, how they perform. So to obtain straight line index, I just need to right click and then look at live chart. This is your straight time index uh, live chart. Okay. Yeah. So you can actually choose uh, one of the attendees just now asked about the timing. You can actually choose your timing. You can actually look at monthly as well. You know, how the market performs monthly. And then, uh, you know, past 10 years, how's the monthly performance. You can also look at things and immediately using candlestick, you can tell, you know, market, how's the market perform. It tells you the story. So you no need to be there, you know the story. Huh? Yeah, and then how do you get the indicator? Just now I was using two years moving average. Oops, I'm um, so sorry. I think you are not able to see my screen. Mm, okay. Yeah. Thank, thank you for pointing out. So this is how you look at the screen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I uh, can see the screen already. Right? Yep, yep. I will repeat. Yeah, it's not good. Okay. So this is how uh, you look like. Uh, the there is a tab inside your points platform that you can uh, look at chart. And of course, so you want to get other chart, you can just click here. For example, I will look at Apple. Apple. Uh, this will be your Apple chart. So you just click at the top right hand corner. So now we are at the straight time index. Okay, this is the chart that I shared just now for straight time index. Yeah. And okay. 
let me see if I'm able to share another screen on how to obtain the chart because I have some of uh, you asking how to obtain the chart from the platform. Uh, I will share this instead of our screen. Okay. Okay. Here. So this is the platform. After you log in, uh, this is how it looks like. And how do you get a chart? You can either get a chart from uh, this tab on chart. And then you can actually look for your charting. You can look for your Apple. Uh, I, I like Facebook. I understand that it's very expensive now. Uh, yep. So this is how you look at chart. And uh, do not think over just chart. There are some chart weeks and uh, central trading, which means we actually work with the party provider. They give you some signal. So they are... Technical analysis out there, they give you certain buy or call, sell signal, and particularly trading um, central. Trading central will be sent to some of our investors. Uh, and this is how you obtain the board, whether they have any buy or sell call for certain market. And this is where you look at signal. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you have to analyze yourself and then make your decisions whether you want to follow the signal, the buy or sell call or not. Okay. So, this is Facebook. And let us come back to our this. Another way for you to obtain the chart is actually to go to live prices. So, like I mentioned just now, I prefer LP1, and then I can look at what indexes under your stocks, what indexes under your stock here, what indexes. So, once you obtain your all indexes, I can actually look at different indexes around the world, and then um, if you right click on the index, you will be able to open the chart. Yeah. Let me go to the chart now. This is my chart here. So just now I actually opened up this trade time index. Yeah. And this is how you obtain the signal. And the basic candlesticks are over here. We we'll use basic candlestick. And then uh, you have the line chart and bar chart. Yeah. Over here. Your line chart, your bar chart. And then your basic candlestick. We will not talk about hollow candlestick. Uh, there's an explanation for it, but just use the basic candlestick. Yeah. And then um, you'll be able to, you know, add in your indicators over here. So over the, here, you have quite a lot of uh, different type of indicators. Most of them are quite easy to understand. Just Google or YouTube. Usually, they will explain clearly what indicator is it. So the most common one will be RSI. Uh, stochastic and simple moving average. Usually, I only open these three, and most I in my uh, Fibonacci retrenchment. Fibonacci retrenchment is over here. Fibonacci retrenchment is a retrenchment that help you to signal to find support, the support line and your resistance line. How they do it is you basically draw a line from the highest to the lowest, and then usually when there's any support or any resistance, you always fall within that line. So that's called Fibonacci, but we will not talk about it because the whole sessions when I last attended, um, usually it's about one hour. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so this is uh, how, how you obtain your signal, your indicators. Yeah, and of course, you can actually draw your channel as well. Uh, you can draw your channel, you can draw your channel, need to combine at least two points. Yeah. So one of the channel is, uh, you know, broken, right? So this is how you draw your channel. Mm -hmm. uh, for your chart. Let's say if you're interested in other charts, you can always uh, you know, uh, type here. You'll be able to obtain other charts from there as well. Okay. Okay, I think I should start answering some of your questions uh, because this is basically to show you how to obtain chart from your platform. And then let us go back to the slide. The slide is here. If you're interested to open a trading account with Boon Can Run Parade Team, right? Uh, you can actually scan a QR code or just visit this website. I certainly it and do take note that everything has to be in a small letter, uh, not, not capital letter, because uh, if it's capital, you might not be able to uh, access the website. Yeah. So I'll go through uh, the questions. Um, this will be the end of presentations in terms of going through the slide and platform. Yeah. So those who have questions that you wish to be answered, uh, you can uh, you, you can stay. Those who think that you know uh, just want to look at 
your slides, I think they will be there at the end of the slides. So I uh, will be going through the questions uh, one by one. How do I answer the question? Okay. Okay, I have one. I have one client asking about, uh, am I using the Poems 2.0 platform or Classic? Uh, I'm using Poems 2.0 and please use Poems 2.0. It, it, it has a lot of important information for you. Yeah, the whole platform, they are paying like a lot of money for it. And to make use, full use of the platform it is very, very useful. Uh, for example, their stock analytics. They actually paid one million just for simple stock analytics. So instead of reading five year annual reports, you have everything summarized on one page. You have stock trainer. Stock trainer out there usually they charge you very expensive, you know, uh, and on monthly basis. But our stock trainers is free of charge. So a lot of very useful information. Please use points two point zero. Yep. For stochastic, it's thirty and twenty percent. Okay. Uh, the next question is asking the eighty and twenty percent of stochastic. Yeah, I also use stochastic predict. Uh, Alibaba, it was right, one of the law. Stochastic, we are here. Uh, yes, stochastic. So we have 20 and 80%. The 20% is the is this line, is the oversaw line. The 80% is an overbought line. So you want to buy on the market oversaw to below 20%. The two line, two stochastic line cross below 20%, there will be a buy signal. Uh, but do tell that both lines must you know point towards up, which means market is returning. Mm -hmm. It is the stochastic. Can we request for the slide? Uh, the question about slides I've answered earlier. Uh, I think all these are quite commonly available information. So you can just Google. Uh, because we don't have copyright to, to share the slide. So uh, usually we don't share the slide, but you can print screen. You need to go to which page, just let me know. You can print screen. Uh, you can print screen the slides. Yeah, so we cannot share. Can we request for the no slide? Differences between Mercury platform and okay. Uh, I have one question about platform. Huh? The differences between Mercury and Poems 2.0. Points 2.0 is live. Whichever computer you use, whenever you are, whether you are in US, you are in UK, you just need a Google Com or IE to be able to access points 2.0. Just go to points of computer. But Mercury is a software, just like Microsoft Words, you download to Microsoft Office. So Mercury platform is a software. You can also download uh, from our website, it's free of charge. Yeah. And why use 20 days moving, not 10? Um, another client asking about uh, why you know there's a need to use 20 days to default. So the more commonly used is uh, 20 days. Sometimes when I trade, when, when I decide you know to trade, you know trade you know these few days, you can actually use five days to cross 20 days. Why is that five days? Usually you have five working days in a week, and then you have about 20 working days in a month. So you can use five days cross 20 days. So it's more of common type of uh, moving average that you use. Okay. Uh, the next question will be still do not know how to draw support resistance. Um, yep, yep. How many points will chart? Okay, the more points will be better. We have uh, we have attendee asking questions about uh, how to draw support resistance. You can have your ruler, uh, but learning to draw support resistance is quite important for a trader uh, because you we, we, we have our common sense to draw our uh, support resistance and then yours might not be exactly the same as mine. Yeah, but and then some of the support resistance, you might find it really effective in a sense that it's actually always be able to support, uh, you know, price at a certain level and then a resistance to up to a certain level. So uh, to draw your support, the line below, Support, you just combine two lower points together. You will be able to draw your support. To draw your resistance, you just combine two upper lines together. Be able to draw your resistance. Yeah. How many, how to make 
comparison with two or more companies on the chart. Uh, we have a uh, questions on how to uh, draw more than one chart. Can be done. Can be done at our platform. So let me show you how to do it because I think uh, other attendees, this one might benefit other attendees as well. Uh, sometimes you want to compare between two charts, which one did better. So I stop share and then I share the chart, which is here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to see my chart now. Okay. So I give an example. I want to see straight time index and then uh, I want to see DBS or CBC. We just type DBS here and then you type all CBC. Uh, we see which one performing better, okay? Compared to straight time index, the company has been selected, and then uh, UOB. So you can compare. So once you add in, right, to compare, you just need to tick here. Compare. There's this compare button. So you can compare them. Uh, just compare a few of them. Uh, so let's compare to Apple. Yeah, so Apple is the one in red. So if you compare Singapore companies, I think we don't compare. <laughs> okay, let's just compare straight time index. <laughs> so if I compare the banks uh, with the straight time index, the one that is doing much better is the red color line, which is our STI. So HTI actually performed better. Uh, if you were to compare from July 2018, but how if I compare uh, three years? If you compare three years, uh, the DBS actually performed better. Yeah. So what they did was they from the starting point, on the point that you want to compare, how are they, you know, uh, how are they perform? You know, are they perform better compared to each other? So this is the compare line that you can use. Okay, so answer this question. Uh, bear with me, there are quite a lot of questions. We might need to skip some of them because uh because we have limited time as well. What is get up and get down? We have uh, attendee Chen Ling asking about get up and get down. Get up means that um, you have price skipping, you know, um, price today with an opening price or higher than closing price yesterday. So this get up. And then get down will be price with uh, get down means uh, you today opening price is much lower than yesterday's closing price. So this is what we get down. Example of get down. Get up or get down, both if you about get down, uh, it's a bearish signal. Get up could be uh, a bullish signal, and then get down could be a bearish signal. So uh, this is what get up and get down is. Okay. How about the spot resistance turn into support level? Spot resistance turn into support level. Okay, resistance, you, you need to look at the whole line. I have these questions, uh, you know, uh, asking about how support turn into support level. The resistance turn into support level. For resistance, you don't look at one day, usually you look at the whole line. How does it perform throughout a few days? So once you have your line, right, there is possible that the resistance will turn into support. Once it is broken, Successfully broken, can I see a bit? We must, we can can see a bit, you know, it's okay, I don't catch the bottom, just wait a while, wait in our signal, confirm, okay. Confirm ready, you enter, uh, confirm your resistance is broken, you enter, this resistance will turn into support. The next time, if the market drop, the market will always drop because there are people who take profit. So people take profit, it comes to this resistance level again, this resistance level turn into support. This is how your resistance turn into support. Yeah. Question. Um, I have a client asking about RSI. When to buy and sell. So logically, when a market is oversold, you want to buy. And when market is overbought, you want to sell. Yeah. So we buy when market is oversold. We sell when market is overbought. Okay. Another question on um, RSI. Uh, okay, there are two lines or RSI. Yeah, correct. So you only have one line actually uh, for RSI. If you're able to see the screen. Yeah. So RSI are over here. And you only have one line for RSI, uh, green color. Uh, you buy when it drop below. Uh, 
thirty percent, and then you know we turn to point up. Yeah. So this uh oversold, and then overbought will be here. Overbought is where you can decide to sell. So they, there's only one line in our site for this question. Um, can you show point two slides again, especially the morning evening star? Uh, okay, I'm gonna show this. Yeah. Um, how do I show? I don't know. Let me just uh, share the slide. Uh, stop sharing first, and I can share. Uh, there's a client asking about the the slide. Uh, you can find the informations uh, from the website as well. There are a lot of information out there. Uh, particularly for candlestick, under the Google pictures, you can find much more. So the basic candlesticks, I'll only share a few here. Uh, the reversal pattern, and this is the pattern that I talked about just now, which is uh, and this is a morning star. Yeah, this is the morning star. So this one is a light. Okay, I have a question asking me about fundamental analysis. There will be another topic, and usually my presentation for fundamental analysis is one hour. So I will not answer these uh, questions here. But generally, when you invest in a company, you have to look at high profit margin. This company must earn money. Low debt. Like your Sengxiong, Sengxiong has almost close to zero debt. Your Rafa's Medical is very low debt. Your, a lot of companies, you know, look at company, uh, Alibaba. Alibaba, surprisingly, the debt ratio is quite low. So you look at company, they earn a lot of money. Uh, logically, like you know, profit margin is high. Your Facebook profit margin very high. Yeah, and low debt. Uh, so it's like Alibaba. And then uh, because you're investors, you want you want to pay out. If you invest in Singapore company, look for dividend. If you invest in foreign company, I think uh, particularly for US because they tax you thirty percent on your dividend. Uh, any income you generate from US land will be taxed thirty percent. Doesn't make sense. So. Uh, for US strategy is not be dividend, but for example, you can look at dividend. Other ratios can look at it also. Compare your PB and PE ratios. If you sell the whole company, what are you getting? Uh, your PB ratio needs to be reasonable. And lastly, look at cash flow. Only invest in company with a strong cash flow. If they are not generating money, they are not collecting money from their sales activity, then you can forget it because operations activity, if they are not generating positive cash, ID, they will go back up. I mean, the, the possibility of going back up is very high, so look at the cash flow as well. This will be the summary, uh, but then you can join my fundamental analysis course yeah, in, in our session. Okay, so done. Uh, can you explain moving average by use your mouse to show what you mean? Moving average, I likely you are not able to see my mouse. Uh, we have one attendee asking me to you know, explain the moving average again. I, let me see how can I explain this again. Okay. How I read moving average, uh, now you might be able to see. Okay, let me see. Okay, um, but generally for moving average, you wait for the two line to cross. So the faster line cross your slower line, this is a buy signal. Uh, from, from below, this is a buy signal. If a faster line cross your slower line or above the line, this is a sell signal. Um, do you use the chart daily, weekly, hourly? Okay, uh, I have uh, a question here from one attendee. I think useful for us, so let's explore together. Daily, uh, the question is, what chart do I usually use? daily, weekly, and hourly. If you're longer-term investors, you want to hold these stocks for buy-term. For example, uh, I bought you know, Facebook a few weeks ago, and then I, you know, I tend to hold for long-term. So for uh, stocks that you want to hold for longer-term, you look at their long-term trend first. So you need to use, look at your weekly and monthly, look at their longer-term trend. How does it perform? Because after you've done your fundamental analysis, look at how it move. And then you want to enter today. Uh, then you come back to your daily, which means not just one, you look at your monthly or weekly chart for longer term investment, but at a point of purchasing, then you look at the daily uh, chart. But if you are traders, because sometimes when you look at gold prices, you have to trade. If you are a trader, you can actually look at hourly 
uh, chart. We do have traders that look at five minutes chart, so more for day trader. If you're a long-term investor, of course, uh, this will not apply to you. You will probably want to use uh, monthly to look at longer term, longer trend, and then uh, daily uh, for when to enter. Okay, so I answered this question. Okay, um, I have a question on MACD. I used to talk about MACD, but I removed it because MACD is not that easy to understand and there are a lot of ways of using MACD, the divergence and all this. So I don't look at MACD, so I look at stochastic uh, more often. Yeah. Uh, you want to hold longer term for stock, what settings should I be looking at? Longer term for stock. Because uh, you need to look at the fundamental analysis and technical analysis you buy when there's a buy signal, such as your stochastic. Because moving average is more for you to confirm. Uh, I think stochastic will give you a clearer signal for you to enter the market. Like you want to buy bank stocks, uh, you look at stochastic for when to enter. And the example that we have just now uh, is quite clear. Stochastic actually gives us a, a very fast signal. Yeah, over here. Okay, they will answer the question. Uh, I still have a lot of questions. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, uh, support resistance, of course, if you look at daily chart, right? I have a question on what time frame to draw for support resistance. Uh, you, you can draw in your daily chart, you can also draw in your monthly chart. So you can draw it, it, any, uh, there's no time frame, but generally you can draw two uh, bottoms together and two peaks together. Yeah, so it can be daily, it can also be weekly. Okay. Can't see the chart. Is really Someone needs slide for the six. Yep. Uh, can you see the slide? Okay. This is important because uh, our technical analysis analyst uh, is Warren. He actually used more signal to look at it, more indicators. And because he's looking at a lot of stocks on daily basis, so he'll be able to give you a so-called better return by a cell call. So you can visit this website on a regular basis. Yeah. I'm like, uh, this. Can you show how you will analyze for sale? Okay, I have some client asking about how, how to analyze uh, stocks. Okay, there's one question on OCBC. Let's look at it. OCBC share. It's over here. Okay, why we're well, waiting for the chart to load, right? Let's look at uh, ascending channel. Who is under risk? Ascending. Let's see. Uh, we, you don't need to pay for stock analysis uh, because we actually put right a uh, few of charge through our stocks BNB website. There's one question on if they need to pay for the uh, stock analysis. I still have a lot, a lot of questions here. I'll take my time to slowly answer. So uh, those that you feel, you know, there's something on, you can of course uh, uh, leave the webinar. And then I might not be able to answer all the questions because I have a lot of them, at least 50. So probably I'll just answer, you know, pick a few to answer. And then the rest, if you still have your questions, you can email me. Uh, all my team over here. Okay, so this is stock PMB website and this is uh, this is our uh, content details TK underscore team. Okay, we there's an attendee asking about the Bollinger Bank. Yeah, there's this Bollinger Bank they tell you when to buy and sell, similar to the rest of the indicators, but we will not be talking about Bollinger Bank uh, now. 
Okay, uh, one attendee asking about the war index. Yeah, the indexes, you can get it from, from quite a lot of uh, 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 chart out there. It can be Yahoo, Google chart. It can be uh, CNBC, Bloomberg. Yeah, so I understand it from our side. You are only able to see NASDAQ. Yeah. Alternatively, you can actually look at the ETA for S&P 500. The chart will have a similar pattern. I can just start analysis. Someone asking about Santec Read. Um, I found it interesting. Why not we just uh, look at it? I understand that recently um, our analyst actually made a sell call uh, for Santec Read. Yeah, but you know. Just look at it and then it will uh, okay. Our OCBC is here. If you are able to see the OCBC um based on the signals that we learned just now, yeah. So uh let us look at stochastic. Stochastic of OC, OCBC is still dropping. We haven't seen stochastic uh reaching the oversol region. We haven't seen any buy signal, strong buy signal. Uh, for OCBC, yeah. of course, I think we we have missed the bottom because uh, the bottom was actually in based on this chart, the bottom was in twenty uh, second of March here, yeah. But the recent signal it shows that um, the stochastic is still uh, moving down. So as your RSI, I didn't see also here, and yeah, moving average you see them cross, but they are not pointing up. Probably we wait for a few more days. If the moving average are pointing up, then they could be on a buy signal for us. But for those, alternatively, what you can do, uh, those who feel, you know, I really need to enter the market for those stocks, you can actually use dollar cost at ranging out. Yeah. This is another method. But this is all CVC, there's no strong buy signal. Um, how about just now someone asking about something? Suntech reads, uh, no wonder my colleague actually made the sell call because uh, it's quite obvious your stochastic, you see over here, your stochastic actually uh, gave a sell signal because uh, they actually cross above 80% moving average. So it's uh, it's time to take profit. Yeah, so based on stochastic. RSI, no signal on RSI. But for moving average, we see, um, we see a signal crossover of the uh, 20 days. Uh, to the 200 days moving average, but they are not moving up. Uh, sorry, to the 50 day moving average, so they are not moving up. So, uh, based on this side of the chart, you probably either see wait for a few more days for stochastic to drop a little bit lower before you enter the market. Yeah, based on the chart. Okay, so answer this question. Some, some, there are some questions asking about buy calls. Okay. Buy calls usually I prefer to look at the um, fundamental analysis before we look at technical analysis. Uh, but you can visit Stocks BNB to look at some of our buy calls because our analysts actually read their reports on a daily basis so and analyze their annual reports. So I think uh, they will be better. Uh, personally, I prefer companies with longer term. So if for, for companies that I invest for long term, I'll look for uh, companies such as Alibaba, which we know that, you know, uh, going forward, probably, I did my analysis, I know that going forward, uh, people is going to move towards e-commerce. And then on top of that, Alibaba is the largest, uh, what's it called, the cloud computing business. Yeah. It actually holds the largest share market share in the whole Asia. So Asia Pacific, the biggest cloud computing is not uh, your Tencent, it's actually Alibaba. Yeah. So Tencent, of course, these are some examples. Then uh, talking about Apple, I know we are a little bit late. The only the, the one thing that you might not be late would be Disney. So uh, for Microsoft, I think the rest of them currently are very close to record high. Uh, the only company that I feel 
they have a strong fundamental but have not reached the level before COVID-19 is your Disneyland. Uh, more for longer term investment, if you are holding powers, probably you can pick slowly. Just my opinion, uh, there's no guarantee. Uh, so, so you logically look at it, you know, what is the longer term. And then for those who feel that, uh, you know, one company might be risky, you can actually buy the whole stocks using the whole companies in the country using straight, using uh, ETF, like your straight time index ETF, your Philip income ETF, they give you about 5% dividend. Dividend strategy applies to uh, Singapore, not uh, not US, because US they tax you 30%, remember? So uh, capital gain should be your target instead of your, should be your goal instead of uh, dividend. I have kind of asked about Singtel. Usually I, I, I don't buy Singtel uh, for now because the for Singapore, the stock that I prefer is uh, capital gain. Uh, it's, it's huge. I think you know the capital land, not just in Asia, it actually has, uh, is developing, not just not just in Singapore, but you know globally, it has uh, development in uh, China, in uh, other parts of Southeast Asia as well. So how huge the company is needed to say, uh, owned by the market holdings. Yeah. So this is uh, the company that I like for Singapore. And the banks, I prefer DBS, so is our analyst also. But we banks, they face some challenges because of the lower interest rate. And there is still a possibility that US interest rate might drop below zero. If you drop below zero, the banks are going to suffer. You're going to take out all your, all your savings if you have to pay for your savings. Will you still save in a bank? Yeah. So challenges. On top of that, remember, people go for digital banking. You go for digital payment so uh and, and there are a few projects going on the money market fund digital payment people might bypass the bank so there's a longer train yeah so i answer some of the questions here okay uh we have one question it's quite important to ask as well is volume important for technical indicators? Okay, a uh, volume, in my opinion, is important. Okay, we don't look at it now because uh, I don't have volume here. So why is it important? Uh, it actually signifies the strength of your signal. I mean, let's say you suddenly have an engulfing signal to enter the market and the volume spike up. You know that this is a very strong signal for me to enter the market. Yeah, so some example. So volume tells the impact of the technical indicator. For those who are interested in more webinar, particularly fundamental analysis uh, webinar, you can go to our website. Okay. Let us go to the chat again. So let's go to the slide. So you can go to website at points.com.sg. Um, it's, it's under here, slash PIC. You can also slash PIC or education. Um, we have a lot of webinars. We have fundamental analysis as well. Yeah, so you can you know, subscribe. Some of the webinar, uh, like I say, very quality. Some of the webinar is really quality. It's those that you pay a few thousands to pay for it. And of course, you need to register uh, so that you know you can attend accordingly. I think some of the adjects webinar are also quite quality, but some of them you might need to pay a few hundred for those uh, webinars. Mm. I have some question asking about PB and PE ratios. So we will not discuss over here, but generally high PE doesn't mean good. High PE means expensive, but you have to compare within the same industry. Mm. The rest of questions are quite um, similar to some that I've answered, like you know, uh, RSI. Okay, you need to see the slide again on RSI. Uh, this is the RSI, this is the stochastic. Okay, this is the RSI slide. Okay, um, why not this? Um, okay, the, so, yeah. 
question answer. Okay. Oh, I still have a lot more questions, uh, but because you know there will be other sessions, other meetings using the same Zoom account. So I will mind it to you know end these sessions. If you have any questions, just attention to me. Uh, important questions need to be answered. You just attention to me. Uh, send to tk underscore team affiliate.com industry and then for those who are interested to open a trading account because uh, once you have a trading account the platform is given to you free of charge so they know that the platform is very very powerful like i said it has a lot of analysis and a lot of important information paid information we pay for information and give it to you free of charge uh, do use the platform Click around because for important transaction or important click, we will ask you for password again. So no harm clicking around to find out where your stock analysis are, where your stock screeners are. So do use our platform more regularly, put in and use. And then I will have to end these sessions. And you have any further questions, you will need to, um, uh, you can email me. If you are interested to open an account, you can also uh, you know, uh, go to this website or uh, scan a QR code to open an account with us. And thank you once again for your time. You will have a good day. Thank you.